guys, Jared Wesley here of Live Traders, and today I have something a little bit different, something a little bit unique. You guys know me as a stock trader, technical analysis trader, but sometimes what you don't know about me is I love cars, cars, trucks, anything with a motor in it, I love. So today I'm kind of kind of put two concepts together. We're going to talk about the new Ford F-150 Lightning, as well as whether or not it's a good idea to trade the Ford stock or even invest uh, in Ford Motor Company. Okay, so we're going to do two of those things. I also happen to be in the market for a new pickup truck. So this is actually just a very convenient video for me to make. So let's talk about this, guys. In my opinion, and we'll get to why in just a second, in my opinion, the new F-150 Lightning could be an absolute utter game changer. And I don't say that stuff about too many things. Obviously, Tesla has dominated the EV market for quite some time now. But what a lot of you guys don't know is the Ford F-150 is not the best selling truck in America. It's the best selling vehicle in America. You name the vehicle, the Ford F-150 outsells it. It's the number one selling vehicle in the entire United States of America and Ford just decided to go electric with it, okay? So some people are originally or initially hesitant. They're kind of thinking to themselves, well, geez, is, is there gonna be range anxiety? We'll talk about that in just a second. What about the towing capacity? Uh, what about the performance of the vehicle? All that stuff. Well, I'm here to tell you guys from everything that I've seen, the access that I've had, this truck is incredible. All right, it's basically a Ford F-150, which is the best selling vehicle in the country, but with all electric technology. So let's talk about it a little bit. One, the range on it, I think is pretty impressive. You can get the, the narrow range or the short range truck um, has 230 miles of range, okay? But if you go to the extended model, it's 300 miles of range. Now, first, before some of you out there are going, well, geez, 300 miles of range isn't anything, Jared. This is in interesting in my opinion. That 300 miles of range, that's with a thousand pounds in the bed of the truck. Okay, so realistically, it's gonna have closer to 400 miles of range without towing something or without that type of capacity. Now, I'm not saying that the F-150 EV is going to be the perfect truck for everyone out there, but it's got some really cool features, guys. So for performance-wise, we talked about the range already. It does zero to 60 in four and a half seconds. That's crazy. That's BMW you know, M4 fast or something like that, okay? So the performance is impressive, right? It's got 775 pound-foot of torque. Guys, that's pushing. Not quite there yet, but that's pushing 2,500 numbers. I know they're more like 900 to 1,000. I get all that. So it's got instant torque from zero RPMs, okay? So towing capacity is still 10,000 pound towing capacity, 775 pound foot of torque from zero RPM. All that stuff's great. That's kind of similar to the regular F-150, but it's got some neat gadgets that I wouldn't even consider gadgets anymore. This is just cool, usable stuff. So as you guys know, there's a lot of different trim levels uh, in Ford vehicles, particularly their trucks. So if you wanna get up to that platinum level, you're probably looking at about a 70 plus thousand dollar truck, which is a lot. But the base model will start around $40,000. The extended range will start around $50,000, okay? so. When you think about it, the price range of it is very similar to a normal Ford truck, but you get a lot of neat extra stuff. For example, you have a 15 inch screen in the middle, kind of like people are used to with a Tesla or the e Mach, Mach E, whatever they call it. Okay, it's got a little volume button down there, which is great. Couple neat little things. The gear shift knob pushes down, so you can have a flat center console. There's power outlets everywhere in this truck, guys. When I mean everywhere, I mean inside the cabin. I mean in the front, in the back, and here's the coolest part of all. So you have these power outlets, okay? You can literally plug a three-prong plug into it. You can plug a generator in, you can plug an ice maker in, you can plug a blender into it. Wait, wait, wait. You can plug your house into it. The Ford F-150, they say, Ford Motor Company says, it could power an average size home for two to three days. How about that? We talk about the Tesla Powerwall, right? We talk about generators for people that live in certain areas with natural disasters. You can literally plug your home into a Ford F-150 pickup truck and it will power your home for two or three days. That's what Ford says, okay? There are plugs in the front of the truck because now there's no motor in the front of the truck. It's an empty space that will allow you to put 
two sets of golf clubs into. Okay, so not only do you have all the cool features that Ford normally has, the beautiful sunroof, the nice platinum King Ranch interiors, all that good stuff, but now you have all these extra cool things that will allow this truck to be even better, more versatile. You can go camping in this truck and not have to bring a generator for lighting, not have to bring a generator for a grill, not have to bring a generator for anything because your truck is the generator. So I think all of that's cool, but here's the bigger question. How does that relate to Ford Motor stock? Is this a stock that you wanna own, okay? So we're gonna talk about that in just a second. We're gonna head over to the computer here and take a look at the different charts because let's be honest here. When you, when you look at Ford over the past 20 years, it's not been the best stock to own. But I think that could be potentially changing with the introduction of the new Ford F-150 Lightning EV best-selling vehicle in America, and I'll tell you, I'm really considering getting one myself. That's not hyperbole, I'm really serious. In the market for a truck, why not go EV, especially one with such great specs as the F-150. All right, let's head over to the computer and take a look at the charts. Sorry, it wasn't. All right, guys, so let's take a quick look at the chart here. So obviously this new Ford F-150 EV is a pretty awesome truck, but the question is, is it gonna have any relationship to investing in Ford or trading in Ford? And I think we can be honest here. This has not been the greatest company to put your money into over the last 20 years. So this is a monthly chart of Ford Motor Company. Back in 2001, this thing was a $25 stock. $25 in 2001, it dropped in the financial crisis down to just under a dollar, went to 88 cents, popped back up to like $18, chopped around, um, pulled back again to the $3 area at the beginning of 2020, and now it's back up to $14 or $15. Now, that's a very sloppy chart. One, I'd be honest with you, I would not want to invest in or have been invested in over the last 20 years. Just to give you a comparison, for those of you that are curious, this, this is what the Apple stock looks like over the same period of time. This went from 31 cents to $124. Kind of different, right? Take another example. Look at the Tesla stock, right? Tesla stock over the past 10, 12 years has gone from $3 up to about $625. So when you go back to the Ford Motor Company stock, whew. Not something you probably got super excited. We'll take a look at GM. Even GM has done a little bit better, most of that in the past year or so, all right? So now, the question is, because of this new truck, this new technology, is this something you might, you might want to invest in in the future? Well, it's tough to say, because I think this could be an absolute game changer, but the question is, for how long, right, is Dodge gonna come out with a truck, an EV truck. Is GM gonna come out with an EV truck? Toyota, right? Of course they will. So how much of a head start has Ford gotten on these companies? Probably enough to give it a decent bump, but here's the rub. It's already gotten a decent bump. So I'm gonna discount last year because, well, from March on, every stock just ripped last year, right? They all, everybody got that COVID bump. So everybody tanked during COVID, but right around March, April, everyone just popped back up. So if you take a look at from the beginning of this year, Ford stock is up from about eight to $14. It's up 50 to 100% here. The question is, how much more room does it have to go? Well, if we look at the chart, one of the areas of deep concern is the $18.41 area, right? Pivot here, pivot here, pivot here, pivot here, pivot here. This is gonna be a, a real problem for this stock to overcome. And here's the rub, it's getting into or getting near that area after an already extended move. So that's a concern for me. So what I would like to see happen is I'd like to see the Ford stock go up to the 17 or $18 area and consolidate for two or three months and then rip. So what would be the reason or likely cause of that? Well, this truck isn't coming out right away. You're gonna have to wait till towards the end of the year and then next year till full delivery start coming in where millions, or I shouldn't say millions, but hundreds of thousands of people have the truck. All right, and I think that could be a catalyst for Ford to step up. They have the new Mach E, E Mach, whatever the heck they call it, the Ford EV, and they've moved in that future direction that seems to be the trend of the car industry, electric vehicles, right? So I think their future is bright. Um, is this going to be a big enough bump that you wanna own Ford stock long-term? 
I don't think so, to be honest with you. Uh, I think what I'm getting at is I think Ford stock will go higher. All right. I think the reorganization of the company is a good thing for Ford. But are there better investments out there? Absolutely, there are better investments out there. Okay, despite how extended Apple is, I still think Apple outperforms Ford. Despite how extended Microsoft is, I still think Microsoft outperforms Ford. Despite how extended Amazon is, I think Amazon outperforms Ford. I think all these types of companies will outperform Ford. Um, so, at the end of the day, as cool as the F-150 is, and it is a game changer, it really is a game changer. Okay, it's unbelievable. Um, I just don't think it's going to have the impact on the Ford stock um, that it's going to need to to push this thing to the areas you'd want as an investment. So if you want to put a small percentage of your money into it, I think that's OK. Um, but I certainly wouldn't make this a cornerstone of my portfolio. So all in all, I think there are better investments out there than Ford. I do think the truck is very cool and I do think it will continue. Stock prices will continue to rise and you might see them retest that $25 area. Uh, by the end of the year or early next year when this truck really hits the market hard and heavy. All right, so that's my analysis, guys. I will say, pretty awesome, badass truck. The stock, hmm. Not so much. I'm Jared Wesley of Live Traders. If you like these videos, please click the like button, smash hammer that subscribe button. Don't forget those click notifications. I'll see you guys again soon.